there was a particular boy. He was always sitting at the back, never ever paid attention. Uh, he was always in and out of his seat and he'd usually have a ruler or a pencil or something. He'd be banging things, um, pulling out tissues. The teacher would sit in the back of the room. She obviously had no control over him. It wasn't until one day that I gathered up all the scripture books. The question was, if Jesus asked you to follow him, what would you say or do? The answer in this boy's book actually said, I would hit him over the head with a hammer. Now, the front of his book was violently scratched. It looked like with a knife. And I thought for a boy so young to be so violent, either something terrible was happening to him or he was exposed to something visually that was very, very violent. So I'm seeing the boy with all his anger and violence before he gets to the stage where he can do harm. And I was seeing the man in the future, not just the boy now. I went right up to his desk, face to face, while the other kids were doing some work. I said to him, I've seen what you've written in your book. Do you want to talk to me about something? No, he says, not looking at me. I said, is everything all right? Yep, not looking at me. So I said, I just want you to know one thing. I'm not paid to be here like the other teachers. I'm a scripture teacher. I'm only here because I love you, because Jesus loved you. He died for you, and your life doesn't have to be like this. That's all I said, just like this, because I knew he would know what that meant. The very next week, his scripture book was open and eye contact. That in itself was a miracle. We were doing a Christmas lesson, and I wrote on the board the word Christmas coming down, and I said, use these letters. Christmas and write what Christmas means to you. I walked around commenting on the kids work and he put his hand up, went over to his work and I lifted it up. This is what it said, Christ has returned in spirit to me and saved me. Now I'm an adult and I can't come up with that. That was absolutely God inspired. The teacher was behind the blackboard. I knew she was talking to someone, so I went and I said, sorry to interrupt you, I just want to show you this boy's work, it's so amazing. She said, wow, and then she said, this is his mother. The sovereignty of God, he knows how to position his chess pieces. The mother then said to me with her own lips, very alcoholic, you know, teeth missing, yellow, and she goes, I don't know what's gotten into him, he's gotten all religious all of a sudden. And from his own mother's lips, I found out that the Lord had changed his life.